Hey, it's Scott here from SBL, and today we are going to be learning about the modes. Just check it out. Loads of students ask me all the time about the modes, what they are, because they can be really confusing. So if you feel a little bit guilty because you don't really understand what they are, how to use them, and all of that good stuff, sleep easy because so many other bass players and musicians, frankly, are in the same boat. Anyway, with that said, let's do it. Now quickly, before we get into this, the team at SBO <laughs> have created an amazing PDF workbook for you that goes with this specific lesson. It has got all the tab and the notation that you need for the lesson. So if you do want that, just grab it from the link in the description below. Okay, now let's get into this. And the first thing that you need to understand before you even think about the modes, okay, is that the major scale, Okay, and do re mi fa so la ti do. The operating system for Western music, which is probably what you spend a lot of time listening to, okay, the operating system of that is the major scale. Pretty much everything that you need is actually contained within the major scale. And that is exactly where the modes are derived from. Now, let's write out the major scale and let's do it in the key of C major, okay? So C, D, E, F, G, a and B. Seven notes of the major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti. And then we've got the octave, yeah? Now the first thing to understand once you've you know, once you can play the major scale, is that there is a chord built from every single note of the major scale. So if I start down here and let's play the C major scale on one string, don't worry, I'll reveal why I'm doing that in one minute. So this is the C major scale on one string. I'm then going to play the chords that are built from the C major scale. And as I play these, you're gonna to think to yourself, ah, oh, that sounds like something I've heard you know, all my entire life. Okay, check this out. So C major scale, but with the chords attached to it. Okay, sounds super, it sounds just like it should do, right? C major scale with the chords. Okay, and they're seventh, chord, seventh chords. So we've got the major scale. Now let me write out those chords. So the first chord was a major, major seven. Then we had a minor seven, then a minor seven, then a major seven. I should have apologized about my writing before we even started this, right? Then a dominant seven, which is just a seven. Then we've got a minor seven, and then we've got a minor seven flat five chord, okay? So major, minor, minor, major, dominant, minor, and a minor seven flat five. The next step is the modes, okay? Now, what is a mode? Well, a mode is the perfect scale for a chord. So every chord that exists has a perfect scale that fits with it, okay? That's what the modes are. So the perfect chord in the key of C major, the perfect scale, sorry, for the C major chord is C Ionian, okay? So that's actually just a major scale. That's the first mode of the major scale, okay? C Ionian. The next one, and you'll have heard these, right? or many of you will, is Dorian. Then we've got Phrygian. I'm gonna run out of space here because that's just the way of the world. Then we've got, I'm gonna do this one down here, Lydian. Then we've got Mixolydian. Mixolydian, try and fit that in. There we go. Then we've got Aeolian. Oh, I can never spell this one. It's something like that. And then here we've got Locrian. So these are the seven modes of the major scale. Now, the cool thing is that you will be able to play all of these right now. If you can play a C major scale, you can actually play all of these already. Check this out, okay? So let's play a major scale, C major scale, starting at the eighth fret of the E string, okay? Now that was C 
Ionian. How do we find D Dorian? Well, D Dorian is really easy to find, okay, because we get that major scale, okay, the C major scale, and we just start it on the second note, the D of the C major scale, okay, and we play it D to D. So we just add C and D on the end of here. So we play D, E, F, G. This is just that C major scale, all the way up to that D there and back down, okay? How do we find E Phrygian? Same deal, we take that major scale, that pattern, and instead of starting on C, we start on the E, and we play E Phrygian. But we just play all the way up to the E there. That's E Phrygian there. E Phrygian. How do we find F Lydian? Same thing, okay? So we've got that C major scale, that's our kind of main pattern. We play up to the F, and then we just keep going up the C major scale from that F. And we make sure, obviously, to go up to the F and then back down. And then we keep going, we've got the G mix Lydian. B, B, I, B, Locrian. And then C major. Okay? So that is how you can actually work out the fingerings of these scales. And another really cool thing, actually, to understand here, let me just write this down for you, is that these chords have numbers, okay? Chord one, chord two, chord three, chord four, chord five, chord six, and chord seven. So if you ever hear somebody or have heard somebody mention something like, oh, it's a two, five, one, or a one, six, two, five in the key of C, they're talking about these numbers. So if we wanted to work out a, um, let's say a two, five, one in the key of C major, well, chord two is D minor, okay? So chord two is D minor. Chord five is G dominant seven, G dominant seven. And then chord one is obviously C major, okay? C major. So that is a two, five, one in the key of C major. I wonder what scales we use on these chords. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, we use a D minor Dorian, we use a G Mixolydian, and we use a C Ionian over these chords. But how do we actually practice this stuff? Remember, what we don't do is do C Ionian, um, D Dorian, etc., etc. What I really recommend is taking one root note, okay, so let's, in our situation, let's just call that an E, okay, E is our root note, okay, and to begin with, we are going to practice E Ionian, okay? So let's give ourselves a drone, okay? And let's just practice E Ionian. Okay, E Ionian. Now, instead of going to what would be F sharp Dorian, okay, we don't do that. We now practice E Dorian, okay? So we've done E Ionian, now it's E Dorian. Now we could do E Phrygian. Now E Lydian. And onwards, okay? So I'm always, always taking everything back 
to the E. So it's E Ionian, E Dorian, E Phrygian, E Lydian, E Mixolydian, E Aeolian, and onwards, okay? And a cool little thing to do is take like two or three modes and practice just switching between those two. So for instance, we could practice going between E, let's say E Lydian, E Lydian and E Dorian, okay, E Dorian. E Dorian. So we'd practice E Lydian. And then E Dorian. And then Lydian. To back to Dorian. And then practice switching between the two. Now the key things I'm looking out for there are really um, leaning into, leaning in, <laughs> leaning in to the the personality of both of these, okay? So Lydian, for instance, has a sharp, it's a major mode and it's got a sharp 11 sound. That's there, that, that sharp 11. Dorian is a minor scale, but it has a natural 13. That's kind of the Dorian sound, right? and I'm leaning into that as I'm practicing them. And then you can do that through the different modes. Ionian is just a major scale. Dorian is the minor with the natural 13. Phrygian has got a flat nine in it. Okay. Uh, Lydian has got the sharp 11, as we've already talked about. Mixolydian has got, it's like a major scale, but with a flat seven, okay. Then they've got Aeolian, which is a natural minor with that flat 13. And then you've got the Locrian with the flat. It's got a, it's got that flat nine, but it's also got a flat five. Okay, so they've all got their own different personalities. As, as I'm practicing them, as I'm practicing them, I'm making sure that I can pick out those key little differences between all of the modes that really give them their personality. So with that said, Hopefully you understand modes a little bit more than you did before you press play on this video. You understand how it's all connected within the major scale and how the major scale really is the operating system of our Western musical system that we use. And also how to go about practicing the modes as well. Making sure to, you know, take one root note and then really lean into the different personalities of the modes as you practice them against that root note. And remember, there is a download that comes with this lesson. It's just down there in the description below where you can, it'll have all of this stuff written out, tab and notation and all of that good stuff. And just apologies if I'm dripping with sweat right now. It is super hot in here. It's like 28 in the UK or in Leeds right now. We've got no air con. We're sat in a black tent and we've got a glass roof above it. This is like a dare gone wrong. Anyway, I'm sweating. With that said, take it easy and I'll see you in the shed.